Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. This is Peter Puma here, of course, and uh, we are gonna make a mining base. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice and early in the morning over here. Just had our eggs and coffee, we went nice and awake. And we're ready to start. So, of course, this is the volcano. Uh, if we look at our map here, that's where the volcano is, in case you're curious and you didn't know. It's right there. You see the pinpoint, the pin that says me? That's, that's it. Alright, so my plans for this, uh, let's go and get back out of K, uh, is to actually build our base on this little ledge here. Uh, of course, credit where credit is due. I first saw this build from uh, Zisto, which he does play on the Arcanaut server. Uh, I first heard of him with uh, Etho's lab. Him and Etho did Terraria back in my Terraria days, and I watched the crap out of that. Uh, so Zisto was entertaining as hell, and once I found his... Uh, channel i actually just subscribed and started watching it uh, he's got a lot of good content on there guys he's entertaining as hell uh, he's, apparently he's canadian and tries to hide it that's what etho has said once at least so yeah i mean this is a great spot this hill right here so like if we break out all these rocks the dinos can actually climb this hill nice and easy so we don't have to build any ramps that go down there to like kind of stop any of the nodes from respawning and it's going to be like right over here so the foundations are going to start right here and it's going to go across this way, about right here. And then, of course, that means it's pretty far away from all of that. Now, I know that uh, the, apparently the Pooping of All server, uh, they have their base like right over there. But, I don't know, I think this is just going to give us more uh, metal to actually be able to spawn in. I know it works well because in the single player version of my Xbox servers, uh, the one I built this on, and... I, I'm pretty sure that Tank could actually update the the server to, I don't know, shorten the range that foundation stop things from uh, respawning. But in the Xbox One version, you can't. So it worked pretty well on the Xbox One version, so we'll find out how it works here. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, let's take a look at our Quetzal real fast, our Quetzal. We have 35 pillars, 45 ceilings, that's what we're going to be making it with. And then, of course, 45 walls. We also have 12 foundations, which is what I'm going to use to kind of start it up. we got four large shore boxes, which we're going to use to kind of line the inside with. got five refining forges for now. Uh, we're going to be trying to get to level 85 in order to be able to get our uh, industrial forge. And this, of oh, one mortar and pestle, it's going to help us with spark powder and stuff like that. Uh, this base is going to be for everyone, so... Yeah, if you are on the server and you're watching one of my videos or you want to join the server, this base is for everyone. So what that means is if you do not want it to be taken, do not leave it here. Uh, if it is left here and you are here, then it's free game. Unless someone's already here using it, don't be a jerk and just steal their crap that they're working for. But if the place is completely um, like abandoned, no one's here at all, and there's stuff that's here, feel free to take it, guys. I'm not worried about it. Uh, metal will always spawn in, crystals will always spawn in, and obsidian. All three of those right up here. So you can see the obsidian like way over there. Way over there. That's obsidian right there. There's a little bit right there. And of course, if you look over here, you can see the crystal too. There's crystal all down there. There's a lot of uh, materials here. Oop, wrong button. But yeah, guys, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and take a look at... I gotta line it up. So let's go ahead and go to our foundations real fast, which are on our Quetzal. Uh, the foundations are what we're pretty much going to be using to line everything up, of course, obviously. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult because I kind of have to eyeball it. I mean, I'm going to utilize K a lot for sure, but I need it to be high enough that uh, it can actually be something. So I think I want it right here. But I need it to make sure that it's lined up. See, I need to do it like that. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom out. The main thing I'm curious about is if it's going to be lined up. See how it's kind of like tilted a little bit? So I need to go ahead and get out of K mode and turn just a tad. And that should actually be good. Uh, that should lead straight out along. You kind of see like a seam where the light kind of hits the top of that little ridge on that, well, what I'm looking at. Uh, I wish you got, you can't see my finger. I'm pointing at it. <laughs> but that's kind of what I want to do. So I think that is the spot. And then, of course, from there, we're going to be able to snap things to it. Uh, it's, may, it's not necessarily going to snap. It will snap going this way for sure, just because it's not as uh, high. 
and it won't be able to snap on this one because it's a little too high. So from here, we're actually going to be using our uh, our ceilings and yeah, let's go ahead and go back to the inventory. I think he has the Quetzal has she she I'm sorry, girl. She still has our ceilings over here. So let's take those and take the pillars. Uh, we are overweight. Let's make sure that we're not completely over encumbered. So we'll go ahead and do half of that down and half of that down. There we go. We should be good. Go back into our inventory and put them in our slots here. And oh yeah, so kind of forgot about this. I just found this in our uh, chest. Apparently, ah, uh, Tank, Tank. Why did I forget his name for three seconds? That was stupid. It's but a Prince long neck rifle. He found this, and I found the recipe, and I had to make it. It's like it was like three hundred and something metal. Like 363 or something like that. I don't really remember. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get started placing some other stuff. Mm -hmm. Right there. Perfect. Right there. Now, another thing that I can do. You see how it's kind of not flush whatsoever? So what I could do here, just to make it a little bit better, is throw one there. And throw one here. So that should be touching. It is cool. So with that done, I can actually demolish this and demolish this. There we go. And then we can just boom, boom. So that's gonna. It's still gonna give us the little lift there. We can always put ramps here just to be kind of safe with it, which I probably will just because. Uh, but let's go ahead and make it one further out that way. Don't need to go further that way with it. I don't think. And we'll put one more right there as well. Uh, in order to build uh, more walls and everything on there, we're going to have to place this. Another pillar here. That way it can support more. Uh, we'll go ahead and do ramps all across this as well. Uh, it's a little uneven. I actually like it like this where you have two in between them. It kind of gives you more to play with. Because this one will support that one and that one. Whereas this one will support this one. Which, see, that one supported already. This one and this one. Now this one supports that exact same one, and now a new one over here if I choose to place it. Uh, if you just kind of go in a row, it's going to make you kind of put one, because you're going to build this one, and you're not going to be able to build another ceiling, and you're going to have to place the pillar here, like I had to do over here. That's why I like the foundations to start it off, that way you can try to get the pillars as far distance away from each other as possible. Uh, it's going to become a non-issue. Uh, we, we're going to have to do a lot of pillars. I mean, we're going to have to do enough to reach down there. But you guys kind of see the basic idea what I'm going for here. Let's go ahead and just uh, build out as well. See how it's looking good already. It's starting. So this is the basic shape of what I'm going for. I'm going to use that as the base. And we're going to build probably to the edge of that. Uh, I might need to get another kind of bird. Actually, nah. Quetzal should be fine. Uh, remember, if you hold X, you can actually stop in midair. I do have this, but here, if you have something on your shoulders and you hit X, you throw it. So, like, Mika is now on the ground. So, if I was to be flying and I hit X to try to stop myself, I would just, I would throw Mika off me. And, it well, she would go flying to the ground. We don't want Mika doing that. It's my best friend right now. Except you, Tink. You're, you're, the, you're the best human friend. This is my best dino friend. It goes with me everywhere I go. Come here, Mika. Come here. There you go. Yeah, always on my side. All right, but yeah, guys, that's the basic uh, basic principle of what I want to do. I'm probably gonna get some ramps and everything together, so I'll do a little bit more building. I'll bring you in when we get to the more interesting parts of it. But in the moment, I will be right back. All right, guys. Well, I actually decided to go ahead and bring you in on this. Um, the building, that is, of course. Just because it's something that I don't know. I feel like you should see this. Because I didn't really get to show it off in uh, my other single player video because I didn't actually make a video for it. But something that you can do is... Actually, I gotta I got get rid of our our shoulder mount. Mika has to go to the ground because I'm going to have to be using X in order to stop. Um, So as you can see down there, that's the Chitin Cave where my Quetzal's beak is. See that little open area? kind of looks blue like the water does over there. Yeah, that's the Chitin Cave. So in case you're ever wondering, Kite Cave, uh, the high side of the volcano over here, you can look down and see it right there. Uh, Kite Cave, it's called that because there's a lot of uh, enemies in there. 
you can just get a lot of chitin from. So saber tooth in there, it's a great thing to have. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump here, and then we're gonna go ahead and place that one there. Move him a little bit. I think I can actually, yeah, I can. So I can do that as well. See if I can get it to snap. No, I can't get it to snap from where I am. Ooh hoo hoo, ooh hoo hoo hoo. I have a sleeping bag up here just in case I fall. Uh, I should have brought a couple parachutes as well, <laughs> but it's it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and X to stop. Get our pillar. There we go. As you can tell, this is going to be a lot of pillars. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot. But it's all right. It's all right. We're gonna make. We're gonna work hard to make this great. Uh, no, no, not. Let's make America great again, but we don't need Trump to do that, guys. If you're a Trump supporter um, in America, that's fine, too, I guess. I don't know. It's just, it seems gimmicky. Like, I really don't even know what his platform is. But let's get out of the politics. Let's get out of the politics and just get back to ARK. That's what ARK's all about, right? Forgetting about the actual real life and living the dinosaur life. So let's go ahead and keep throwing our pillars down here. We're a little too far away. Can we, like, inch forward to get it? without falling yes we can all right I think that one is actually on it a uh, great way to tell yep it is cool all right next one we have to do is this one so let's go ahead and get it placed placed I think we need one more down there maybe not maybe not maybe we're okay one way to tell okay it is not <laughs> okay so let's go a little bit more forward and press X and that should be it right there Boom. Perfect. All right, so it's looking pretty good so far. Let's get a. See now we can't place another one on this one because we need another set of pillars here. And I don't know. Yeah, it is okay. I think that's attached now. So it's easier with the pteranodon because you know you're smaller. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the only reason. I think that's good. Uh, again, a good way to tell. Nine. And boom. Uh, it works pretty well with uh, placing those, but the pillars don't seem to place as well. So let's go ahead and just... Oh yeah, see, it works so much. Well, let's see how much we can build. We still have the more ceilings and everything on our Quetzal, but... Let's go ahead and do it this way for a second. We'll build it to probably... Why can't it go out one more? Or is it... Okay, it can, but I'm just too close. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, I'm not going to be able to place another one there. So let's go ahead and get more pillars down. It's a lot of maneuvering to try to get it to work right. Uh, that's not a bad, good, that's that's a bad view is what I was trying to say. So X, hold. Alright, 7. We're a little too close. So let's pull it a little way, X. Uh, I think I'm too far now. Yeah, too far now. Okay, so let's flip around and head back. X, okay. So seven, get the pillars, 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 one more. We're out of pillars. Let's take, we're going to need more pillars in this, so we're going to have to do a couple of runs uh, down the side of the mountain here to get more trees. And for the thatch, I've got enough fiber to make as many as I need, I think. i got a good, really good amount of fiber. It's a little bit closer is all I need. Oh, come on. Damn you. So yeah, that's the other downside is the Quetzal does have a, a bouncing kind of thing going on. Uh, I was hitting C. Which makes it really inconvenient because I went up right as I placed it. Come on. Turn around, dude. And I kind of just replaced it instead of actually building underneath it. There we go. I don't think I need another one. I do need another one. Okay, so that's set now. So let's go back up here. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how far we can build out now with this. Let's go ahead and land our Quetzal. Take more ceilings off of her as well. <coughs> I don't think we're overweight. Now we're good. That's a bad way to go down. Alright, so nine. And they should be able to take us over here. Boom. Boom. And just kind of fill in the gaps here. 
There we go. A little bit more. Like so. Uh, does it necessarily need to be bigger than this? But I'm just, I'm gonna make it bigger than this. <laughs> we can't build that one. <clears throat> Alright, sorry guys. My, my throat's kind of acting a little weird, a little stuffed. Uh, I might sound a little weird too. I just feel congested. It's a really windy day, so it's blowing a lot of stuff around. I just had to go outside real fast and run out. Uh, and yeah, I'm coming back and now I'm just congested. That was like before, that was during the video. I had to run out real quick. I actually might go ahead and place them on this side as well then. Just to make it a little bit wider. Like that. I think I can make one there as well. Yep. So it's looking pretty good. This is uh, pretty much the... This might be it. I might call this it. I mean, we're going to need more more stuff for sure, but not too shabby if I do say so myself. Uh, I might go ahead and place some more pillars here. I got 14 of them. I mean, it doesn't have to be huge, but I don't want it to be so tiny that I don't really feel comfortable on it, you know? Uh, this is going to be utilized for everybody. We're going to have as much stuff going here as possible. So I kind of want it to be useful for everybody. So up, down. Up, down. I gotta like watch the, the patterns of my bird. Just so I don't accidentally replace it again. Go a little bit lower. Ah, turn a little bit more, dude. There you go. I'm too close. Yeah. Yeah, way too close. So let's go ahead and do that. Nah, see, I don't... Ah, uh, I should have brought like a, an RG or something. It would have been way more convenient than this. He's just so big. There we go. No, come on. I hate you sometimes. I love you, but I hate you sometimes. Okay, I don't have to do that. I'm not even going to try to get that pillar. It's just there. Alright, something we do need to do, though, is definitely go down there, gather a little bit more wood so we can get more ceilings, because we are currently out of those, so let's go ahead and do that real fast, guys. Right back. Alright, well, I gathered a little bit more stuff, and I actually decided, if we're going to do this, might as well do it right. So, we're going to make this as big as we're willing to. Probably, like I said, to the edge of this. That's kind of where I wanted to go. So, we're probably just going to keep going that way. And that should be set. I'm definitely going to have to go get more materials. Um, just didn't want to overburden my flyer, but you know, it's not really that close. The cuts still doing really good. Let's go back to the other side. There's that freaking pillar that was rogue. Went its own way. It could go its own way. Go its own way. But yeah, I, I really do want it to be bigger. Um, I kind of want to make it like a scenic thing too, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll show it off when we get there. I need some some rails and stuff and windows and, you know, fun stuff like that. So that should be that one right there. So let's go into our Quetzal again. Quetzal. Got a little bit of ceilings there and nine. Or hit eight on accident. One of the two, either way. Let's go ahead and get our bird to fly away. That way we can try to place this. Come on, dude. Uh, why you know? Okay, because it has to be. Ah, you're too close. It's alright. I can do it like this. Can it, why won't you be. Ah. Uh, fine. Why? Oh, God. Don't fall. My Ketzel is just like barely out of range of anything that's useful. Will that work better? Probably not. I probably should be on the Quetzal for this. I think he has the range for it. Yep, there we go. That's the one I want. Please keep going down. Don't go rogue. Tap X. A little too much. Damn it. Alright, well, see, I can't even reach from there. <laughs> it's like right in the middle. That's, there we go. Okay, I got it that time. Wouldn't do it before, but did it now. Don't think I need another one. Pretty sure I don't. Can I place a ceiling without having to do stupid stuff? Apparently not. Alright, so let's go ahead and just take a lap. 
and come back in like a s. And uh, this z y. Oh my God! It says it. So apparently this isn't on. No, it's definitely not. From this angle, you can tell. That's the one right there. That's what we needed to happen. All right, so back up this way. Press that X. Let's go further in and just press X here. We'll do it this way. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so that one's gonna have to have the pillars. So seven. Come on, just. I wish you could like pull what you're trying to do in, so clearly I'd want to go right underneath this, but I can't really back up. But no, 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 no. It has to be like, oh, you want to set it over here? Nothing's there, sorry. No, there's something right in front of me, just let me do it. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and kiss, you know, see the same exact thing. Like, like I obviously want to keep going on that one, like, I feel like that would be a clear thing here. There we go. There we go, y'all, y'all. Connect it. X. There we go. And can I get one more? I know I can, but there we go. I think I need one more. Yeah, that should be where. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'm gonna just get one going as far out as possible, just so I can kind of get the length of it. And let's go nine. Nine. Come on, there we go. <laughs> oh, you're a pain in the ass sometimes, bird. Hit X. Let's just get off of it. Really? Come on, there you go. One more. That's all I need. There it is. I can go a little bit further, too. Alright. So... This might be the last one. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the last one. Uh, we're not going to necessarily build out any further. We're going to have one more pillar going down just to support anything that I want to put here. And that'll be it. So let's go ahead and start building it into my Quetzal's booty. And we're going to come down and do the other side. Now we're going to do this with each one. I'll bring you guys back in when we're done because it is going to take a little bit of time and feng shuiing my bird in a way that doesn't make me want to rage quit and throw my mouse across the room but hey I'll be right back all right guys well I came up with a problem that uh it wouldn't let me place another ceiling oh, ceilings you're on you still give it to me so it wouldn't let me place one here I can now uh, what was happening is the ceiling actually didn't reach that far uh, not the ceiling but the pillar it didn't, it wasn't actually touching the ground, and when I went to do it, it would say that it's too high above the ground and stuff like that, so it wouldn't snap into, here, let's see if I can get a good view on it. So, like, it was that one, oddly enough, it was saying that it wasn't actually in the ground, so, and then, uh, I was trying to place another one, and it wouldn't let me do it, it said it was too high above the ground. So, what I had to do is I just had to place a roof right there make it across, and then use pillars going down from there, and it works perfectly. So if you have that problem, that's an easy fix for it, guys. Uh, almost done here. I'll bring you back in just a little bit. All right, and we are back, and we are ice cubing too, but that's okay. Uh, I went back to the base and uh, made a forge up so we can make a behemoth gate. I think this is where I want it to go. I just got to make sure that it's... I think I could get it lined up like that again. So if I just go back, go with the SY. Uh, okay, let's check it out. I kind of want it to be more on the platform, you know? I think that's actually pretty good. Uh, trying to see how it lines up with the wood. I think that's pretty flush. I could be incredibly wrong, and absolutely. So, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not. See, I, I'm counting... Uh, the ceiling, the woods in between, so that's five. Over there is three. So what I got to do is I got a K, and then just just a little tiny bit. I'm trying to like, there we go. <laughs> just one. I don't think that quite did it. Nope. So one more time. I did two. Two ticks. 
That uh, looks like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's probably about as even as it's going to get. So let's go ahead and place it, see how it looks. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. All right, so let's go and put our gate in. And there we are. So yeah, this is it. It's going to open outwards, of course. That's how, uh, whichever way you're facing when you place it, it's going to open that way. Well, towards you. Uh, this is it, guys. Let's go ahead and hit K again. That way we can get the full view of it. And there we are. Of course, that's a little gimmicky thing there in the bottom that I had to make to make sure I could place more. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to improve on this for a little bit. Uh, I want kind of a, a balcony in the back just so we can look off over there and maybe like look over there a little bit too so I might make it go that way but I have all the materials over here on my Quetzal Quetzal I'm gonna say it my way not not everyone else that I play with way. uh... all the way down all the way down I got 44 walls I got a couple of other things that I can go with as well I thought that's a reinforced door yep okay I got those uh, I didn't make windows did I I probably didn't Nope, I didn't. I don't probably have wood either, do I? Nope, I don't. Gosh darn it. Alright, guys, I gotta make another trip to get more wood. I'll be right back. Alright, well, I just got a little bit more done there. Uh, I built another part of this just because it looked kind of weird just hanging off, so... kind of made it like this, so... It looks a lot better in my opinion. So, I just said so like 18 times. I don't know why. Uh, I want to get this placed immediately, and then right behind that, we're going to start placing all of our walls. And then over there, we're going to actually make our little balcony kind of thing. Uh, the water reserve, where can we put that? Oh, it has to have a, a snap point? That's sucky. What do we need for a snap point? Okay. So yeah, it just need a pipe, needed a pipe, and now we got one. So when it rains, it should start collecting. Maybe not. Oh, this is a reservoir. We need a well, don't we? Can we get a well? No. Oh, okay. Attach this to pipes to store rain, irrigation, or manually deposit water for later use. Oh, okay, cool. And then, of course, we had to get that so we can get our scuba gear. And kind of the same exact thing. So, I have a pipe right there. I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure irrigated means it's just leading to water, so it's constantly full. But... Well, I have to wait till it rains. That's the only way I'm going to find out is if it rains. So we got to wait. Yeah. Uh, but back to what we were doing. Let's go and gamma up real fast. There we are. Good. Hit nine. We're going to start. Ooh. No. Why? I don't care. Don't tell me it's ready. I'm going to build a wall there. It's backwards, but oh well. That one doesn't matter. Build a wall here. And we're just going to build it just like this, all the way around. Boom. Alright. There we go. Alright, so we're going to stop right... One more, here. And we're going to place it like this now. So let's try to make sure that it's placing correctly. Like that, I believe? Yeah, that's the way we want it. And then we're going to go back to 9. Let's see, there's two ways. That's the way I want it. Yep. And then we're going to take it back this way as well. I don't think it's the right way. Oh, it might be. Actually, yeah, I think it is. Come on, place. Oh, God. A little bit of lag. <laughs> Alright, so we're also going to kind of do the same thing over here. So let's just do that and we'll meet up over there. Place that there. And there we are. Alright, so at, on that note, we're going to go in back into our Quetzal here. And he's going to have a... Uh, well, maybe we took it off. We actually took it off. 
So there we go. We got a doorway as well. Reinforced windows and other thing. There it is. Uh, we're going to put that in the side. And then we got our railing as well. That's going to be everything we need to get this going together. So let's go ahead and start off with our door. Uh, make sure it's the correct way so we don't have to break it. Uh, you jerk. We have to break it. We have to break it. We have, we have to break it. Alright, so let's try this again. I think that's the right way. It is. Okay, good. And then back to this. I think that's good. Cool. Okay, so now we're trying to get our door the correct way. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We like it. Okay, so... Eight. Is there, like... Why is there a weird gap in the door? Is it better now? Why is there a weird gap in the door? Oh, uh, I don't like that at all. Let's demolish it. I may not need a door there at all. How about you? Do you have a you have a weird gap as well? Can I get rid of it? Why is that happening? If I, do I have to do it from the outside? No, nope, the weird gap is still there. It's like not lined up right, so I guess we're not using those. But something we are going to use so we don't die. Railings. Railing. 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 For a little bit. I think I built enough. I did not build enough. I think I have enough wood to keep it going though, so we'll find out when we get to that part. And we got two more after that's placed. And seven again. There we go. There we go. Uh, I just need one more, but I'll make two. There we go. Alright. So now, see? Look at this view, guys. That's freaking amazing. Isn't it? Look at that. We can walk all around it, see exactly what's going on. Now we just need... 500 more walls and we're good to go we're good to go probably just gonna actually leave that open and then kind of cover it up on this side but yeah you know every every base needs something you can just kind of look out of and kill a little bit of time and this is gonna be it maybe throw some chairs but like we've said this is gonna be the community uh, little forge area um, this is where I'm gonna put the forges is right here and then uh we can build a ceiling, or I think even a catwalk. I think a catwalk would be better. We can get that going, and we can place uh, more forges on top of that. We can do that until we get to our level 85s, and then we can finally make the industrial forge. But until then, we got to think of a clever ways for us to be able to achieve that. Uh, as you can tell, this is a lot of walls. So we're going to have to go back and... Well, it's going to be a lot of building, guys. I'm not too stressed about it. It's not too hard. If I go back to base, it's actually a lot easier. Now we don't have to worry about how, which way it faces, though, so that's always good. See? There we go. So this I'm actually going to leave open. Uh, I'm going to just keep it covered. I think. Yeah. I might have to build some walls and kind of make a, like separate rooms just to kind of have foundations or kind of like pillars without having pillars. Kind of like break it up a little bit, make it seem even better. Yeah, I guess. So I also kind of wanted this to be where we could park a dino that, you know, like a pack dino. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like a stego, not a stegosaurus. Maybe I don't know. Maybe a stego. Maybe just something that can carry a lot of weight. Maybe even like a T-Rex or something. But yeah, pretty excited about it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to crafting. Uh. Yeah, so, be right back. Well, actually, guys, I decided before we go, we should go ahead and just start this up. Uh, we're not going to build the bottoms anymore. So this is as big as I want the base to actually be. So let's go ahead and start placing some of our stuff here. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, I actually don't really care. I, I don't... Yeah, 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 I'm actually happy with that. So we'll do this. So we're going to place our forges now. And we're going to place it where we want it. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it. Oh, fine. So let's back up a little bit. And then turn it. 
Oh come on dude. Don't don't play games. Don't go break in my heart. I wouldn't if I don't even I couldn't if I, I don't know guys. Uh <laughs> are you outside? Nah, you're not bad. Okay. Let's see, this is kinda complicated because I don't wanna like get it to like that point. Because you can't move it anymore after it's already placed like that. So we gotta keep going back and forth and trying to accomplish it. So let's go like that and then turn it right there. Perfect. So let's there we go. See if we can turn it. Aw, oh, come on. I had it, but I went one step a little bit further than I needed to. Turn it right there. Perfect. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing, man. I'm so excited to have this going on. Like I've been wanting to do this for a while. There we go, finally. Cause it, it's nice to have, you know, something for all of us to be able to come to and get a lot of metal from. And this is gonna be the beginning of it. You know, it's a great start. So uh, I'm gonna take the time to go ahead. Well, we actually we got a mortar and pestle that we need to set down as well. So let's get a couple of those. Ah, let's go back into inventory. We got to place that in here. We don't want those windows really anymore because they don't work. They were not flush. There was like a huge gap, and that's weird. But let's go ahead and well, can we make like a table? Can I make a table? I'm going to end up making a mine wipe, but not... F oh, wow. I can't make a table. So we're just going to have to place the mortar and pestle right on the ground. Which is okay. We're going to place it right there. We can always destroy it and make it again. Uh, what I want to do here is go ahead and go get some flint and some rock. And start up some spark powder. And, yeah, then mine a little bit. And then on the way back, I will bring you guys back in. Alright guys, well I'm back and it's just something just kind of clicked with me and it makes perfect sense, of course. Uh, reinforced stuff, that that's for stone. So I bet you these windows are going to fit perfectly. Yep, look at that. Look at that. What, what, what do you know? <laughs> and then of course I made the door as well, which I'm assuming again fits perfectly. Yep, and that's how it's done. Alright. Duh. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, I made up a lot of walls here. Let's see. Here we got about 111. So we're looking pretty good. I can't quite move with those on. So let's go ahead and look at all of my weight. Oh, yeah. I was, go I was collecting with the beaver and I forgot to take off the berries. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and keep going this way. Let's go ahead and make keep this lined up here. Yeah. I think it's actually already lined up with this one so yeah we're, we're good let's just go ahead and do this it doesn't really matter uh need to go ahead and put the walls into my action bar let's do three I don't have my spear on me right now so let's see here i want to go decently high i want to be able to fit uh whatever i need to be you know whatever i need to fit Come on. Uh, i just need to get better controlling there we go Three, three, three. And we're just gonna do this all the way across. And of course it's a lot easier oh come on. <laughs> it's a lot easier like, yeah, a lot easier this time, huh? That's what I was gonna say. And then I go ahead and replace the wrong thing. The thing I was talking about being easier though is that we don't have to worry about the placement. Ah, unless we do stupid stuff like stupid stuff like that. But it's not gonna flip the walls around. They're all gonna be the correct way at least. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Right, we're going to put our bed over here, though. You see where there, there's our sleeping bag right there. But we're going to place this here. That way we can spawn. Uh, if you jump on, go ahead and place your beds over here, too. If you jump on the server, uh, of course, let's go ahead and put our sign down. We're going to put it just far enough away out here that the doesn't get hit. Ah, oh, sweet. There's more rain. And we're going to put pin... Um, five, 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 five. There we go. We're actually doing it on both sides. That way, there's no confusion. 
I just don't want anyone to come here and be like, why can't I get in? I want you to be able to see that this is how you get in. There you go. I think, uh, yeah, I did one short. I don't know why I thought it was three that time. Pin, five, 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 five. I did four, and then I, like, erased one. I was like, oh, it's better now. Uh, let's go ahead, set pin code, and five, 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 five. There we go. All right, so if anyone ever needs to come here, they just go ahead and put that code in. They can get inside, use the forges up. Uh, we got the spark powder there. Of course, spark powder is just cake to make. So just jump on that, bang some rocks, and get some flint, and you're good to go. Uh, Pullman of Scorpius, you're just going to sit here and watch the fort, right, buddy? You're probably, you're not even hungry at all. Well, I guess spoiled meat doesn't really, you know, spoil again. That uh, kind of does, but it takes a while. Yeah, guys, here we are. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. We got ourselves a nice little water area here. Uh, we got ourselves the starting of the smithy here. Well, not smithy, but forges. We can always get more going, but we're pretty close to the industrial forge. I don't think anyone needs more than that going at the moment. Uh, we got a good amount of metal from it, and we're going to head on home, but we're going to end the episode here as well. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to the people. Come on, Mika. Okay. Uh, zoom in, zoom in, coming. I'm zooming. Bye, guys. Um, that ends really bad. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Uh, of course, subscribe if you want to see more like this as well as other games too. Uh, and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, guys. This is uh, a nice little mining base. I think Zisto did it a little bit differently. This is very basic. Let me know what you think if you like it or not. Uh, let me know if I can improve on it. But until next time, guys, just come back and see me again.